Hi guys, this is PTY Trader. I'm going to show you a demo of the barter decks today. So first we're going to generate a, a passphrase like we do on Agama so we can access our wallet or smart addresses. So I'm actually going to log out since I've already uh, created um, a wallet and I've already funded my addresses. So I'm going to log out and log back in with my actual seed. Once you log in, you'll see um, that the addresses will either have funds if you've already funded it, um, or it'll say uh, zero balance. But if there's no coins, you can add coins by just clicking the add coins button, scrolling, picking the coin, and then um, either choosing the native or the Electrum mode. So we're going to use Electrum because I don't have uh, the copy of the blockchain. Okay, so now you can see that I have no hush, and that's what we're going to buy. We're going to try to um, buy some hush, and I am going to find an order. I'm going to click that order, and I'm going to set the price a little higher than the asks price, and I'm also going to just buy a little bit less because I don't want to buy the whole amount. So this will assure me that the uh, transaction should go through, and I'm going to use the bot feature because it'll keep buying until I stop it. So I'm just going to uh, press buy and the bot will kick start. It will um, keep attempting swaps until they, they happen. And this is good if you're in a DICO and you want to buy orders repeatedly. Uh, so currently we see that, okay, there's one, one attempt at the swap and we actually see it in yellow on the right side of the screen. And uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to give it a few moments. We should be able to see some information here in the trade status um, tab. Okay, so here you can see that the trade is still uh, alive. Uh, the funds are reserved, so we should see a swap here soon. The process can vary. It depends also if you have the proper UTXOs. It depends if the liquidity providers um, have also the proper UTXOs. And we can see here now that a trade has started. We can see it in real time. And if we click details, we should be able to uh, see some of the blockchain information of the actual atomic swap. And you can see there's a seller deposit. Um, so now at the top, we'll be able to follow the trade. Currently, there's a buyer payment um, and uh, the seller completed the security deposit. So we're waiting on the buyer payment and uh, the next two steps is the seller payment and then finally uh, the swap will be completed and we should be able to refresh our balance and see our hush on our wallets. I think um, it's, it's amazing now that I'm seeing very new users making these atomic swaps with no help from me um, it's very easy and uh, I think it shows really how far the team has come with with this technology and where we can take it because basically this is a full exchange experience while it might be a little bit slow because we're confirmation based atomic swaps that are on chain depend on confirmations right so while it might be a little bit slow, this is fully decentralized, it's trustless, and it's peer-to-peer. -peer. There's no uh, centralized server here uh, at all. A decentralized market maker, a decentralized app to trade, and we're trading wallet to wallet. We're not trading proxy tokens. Okay, if we give it a few more minutes, I think... Uh, the swap should be completed. It's pretty much halfway done. And we appreciate when you guys test the app to contact us or go on GitHub, open issues and give us feedback because what that's going to do is that it's going to help us learn what we can do to better the app if there's some if there's a button for example that doesn't work to your liking let us know because maybe we can change it 
um, this is what this is all about is is getting feedback and the app is where it's at now because of the users okay so we can actually see um, two trades have started uh, as I mentioned the trade bot will will keep buying until I stop it so I'm not gonna stop it until I see one of the orders is completed okay so um, actually the seller payment has just happened so we're just waiting on the final step for one of the swaps Okay, sometimes um, the GUI might get stuck, but you can actually see that it lets us know right away that the transaction is finalized, and um, we should be able to stop the, the bot now because uh, it, it completed the swap, so we're going to stop the bot, and we should be able to also see the wallet um, balance. Here, I will go ahead and refresh the balance. Um, there's a button on the right hand side quarter to refresh the balance or you can just leave it running and it will fetch the balance each 60 seconds but that's the way that the SPV server is set up currently if I'm not mistaken so let's just give it a few more seconds and uh, there it is there's 0.4 hush so two of the transactions completed and that's it guys that's how simple it is to make a swap I hope you enjoyed the video I think the video speaks for itself on, on how far we are uh, with this technology and what's going to be coming in 2018 uh, please write us on slack if you have any questions uh, reach out to your coin communities if they want to add your coins to the barter decks which is also something that will help us uh, not only get more coins on the on the wallet and, and on the exchange but also get more liquidity because they'll be able to set up their own liquidity provider nodes like hush the only reason I'm able to buy Hush is because they set up their liquidity providers. So this is this is something huge, guys. I, I hope you understand the the significance of this. And um, I'm just going through some of the tabs here to, to show you. It has it has wallet functionality, so you can actually send and receive coins, um, just like an, a light wallet would, right? So uh, thank you, guys, again. I hope you enjoyed the video please uh, go to komodoplatform.com, uh, Slack, or uh, write as a ticket at support.komodoplatform.com.